911, please state your emergency. My husband's not breathing. Please help us. Dearly beloved, we have gathered today to mark the passing of a cherished father. I'm very sorry. We did everything we could. Your mother has died. Stop sloping. There's nothing wrong with you. You need to get over yourself. You're a burden to your son. He'd be better off without you. Brandon, you packed already? Yeah. Listen, Aunt Liz, she'll take care of you. You know I love you, right? Jeez, Mom, it's just a weekend. You were the one who told me I had to go. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine, I'll be fine. I just, I don't say it enough, but I love you. Okay, I love you too. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. Dear Brandon, you are my world. You make me so proud. I want you to be free and to have a good life. You don't have to take care of me anymore. I sign the house over to you. Everything is yours. I love you, now and forever. Mama. Forgot something. Mom? 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 Mom, you don't have to do this. Open the door, please. Mom! I'm calling 911. Mom, Mom! I need a place to stay for the night. Do you have an ID? Have you stayed at a shelter before? Here are a list of rules you'll need to follow. Curfew's at 4.30. We only allow two large bags or three small ones. You're gonna have to lose one of those.
looks like bed bugs. You look dog tired. Have a seat. <clears throat> I'm Sarah. Hope. So what's your story? I don't have one. Everyone has a story. I'm an addict with terrible taste in men. I was living with my boyfriend and things got so bad I decided to leave. Only I had nowhere to go. And the Folks here at Homeward Bound got me into the room in the in program. And I've been sober three months. So what are you into? Nothing. If you don't want to tell me, that's fine. <laughs> Excuse me. Give it to me. I know what it's like. Now the truth comes out. You just want to hit. Forget it, this is mine. I don't drink and I don't do drugs, but I know what it's like to have a disease that's pushing you into doing something you don't want to do. Come on, let's go get some coffee before it's all gone. This is Brandon. You know what to do. Something amazing. I talked to Sharon and she said she'd consider you. For what? Room in the inn. I mean, she decides whether or not you get in, but don't worry, I put in a good word for you. So be back here at three o'clock and don't be late. Sarah said you don't have any addiction problems. She said you helped her out the other day. Room in the Inn partners with different faith communities that take turns hosting us. I can help connect you to counseling, therapy, whatever it is you might need to get your life back on track and find you a home, if that's what you want. I do. Okay, tell me why. I miss my son. I thought I was helping him by leaving. I know I don't deserve a second chance, but I don't want to look back anymore. I, I want to look forward, I just... I need something to look forward to. That's all I needed to hear. Uh, so just be back at four o'clock tomorrow. Does, does that mean I'm in? Yes, you're in. 
Brandon? Mom, is that you? It's me. Where are you? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm okay. I'm, I'm home. I'm home now. I'm really glad you called. <laughs> it's good to hear your voice. <laughs> I missed you. I missed you too.